Bon, bon matin. matin! Les tripeux trotteurs sont en direct de... Granby Westfield! On se retrouve devant l'office municipal où on va aller rencontrer la mairesse Madame Grace. Suivez-nous! Good morning, Mayor Grace. Could you please talk to us about Grand Bay Westfield? Good morning, Lucette. Good morning, Carolyn. Welcome to Grand Bay Westfield, all the way from uh, far away Dieppe this morning. We're so pleased to have you here. Uh, Grand Bay Westfield, we're going to take you on a tour and show you all of our highlights this morning. But what I would want you to know about Grand Bay Westfield is that we're a residential community, uh, a bedroom community, as they like to say, to the city of St. John. Uh, we're about uh, 15 minutes away from city centre, an hour away from the American border, and uh, probably about 45 minutes away from Fredericton. So very well situated and close to everything. So a lot of history in our community, which I'll share with you this morning. We're a very active and healthy community. People here like to walk and run and bike and do the walking trails, and they have lots of opportunity for that here in Grand Bay Westfield. We have many transportation corridors. As well, we are on our eastern boundary is all water, the St. John, beautiful St. John River and the Nerefis River up to the north of our community. And then to the, uh, on to the west of us, untouched virgin forest and all kinds of roads to which to do your fat biking and your hunting and skiing and all the sorts of things you do at different seasons of the year. So we have, uh, we of course have a beautiful spot on the St. John River at Brundage Point, our waterside gathering place, which celebrates all of the history on Lexan panels, as well as uh, two, at least two of our uh, beautiful granite sculptures. We have been a participant in an international sculpture symposium now since 2012. Uh, we were supposed to get our final and fifth sculpture last year, but due to COVID, like many things, it has been delayed. So today I'll show you four of those actually that come from uh, artists in Italy, in uh, Bulgaria, in France, and a local artist that we're so proud of, Jim Boyd, out in Hampton. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful community. I look forward to showing it to you this morning and hope that you'll have lots of questions along our way. Welcome, girls. So while I welcome you here this morning, girls, I wanna take advantage of this opportunity to welcome at this point through COVID, all New Brunswickers are able to travel to join us here in Grand Bay Westfield. There's lots of things to do. Again, I'll show you a few of those this morning, canoeing, kayaking, the running of sea dews. I want all New Brunswickers to come and enjoy. We have a beautiful, over, this will be its 101st year, the Westfield Golf and Country Club. Beautiful location, lovely restaurant, just to the north of us again. Uh, just you know, look, walking in the community and uh, <clears throat> enjoying all those amenities and businesses that are here to welcome all of our guests. We look forward to that this morning. Perfect. Thank you very much, Mayor Grace. My pleasure. Tout juste à ma gauche, on a le Trail Whip Park. C'est un parc qui a été euh, construit avec l'aide des élèves des quatre écoles de la région. En plus, on a un nouvel ajout juste derrière moi, un parc d'eau et un endroit pour euh, prendre un peu d'abri au soleil durant l'été. So welcome to the River Valley Community Center. This was a building that was uh, built and supported by a town, a village, and two local service districts. Today, of course, we're one town in Grand Bay Westfield. Uh, but as you can see here on the floor, for example, we had a lot of support to build this building. This was a fundraising project. People bought the tile in order to help offset some of the debt. It's heavily used here right into May for skating and hockey, hockey mostly. But there, uh, there is a daycare downstairs. There is, at the end of the hall down there, there is a room for uh, after school 
activities for the middle school students that are also just across the uh, just across the yard here. So we like to think we've got a lot of recreational opportunities in this area and we put them all together so that a parent can bring their child, drop them off in one spot and get their get their all the recreation they're looking for. So welcome to Unity Park. This park was developed in acknowledgement of the amalgamations of the former town of Grand Bay and the village of Westfield. Formerly a brownfield, let's have a walk through and we can have a peek. So throughout Grand Bay Westfield, you'll see uh, evidence of our municipal heritage trail. Our community is made up of 11 founding communities today that made up part of Grand Bay and part of Westfield. So we celebrate and share the history of each of these under little shelters like that throughout our community. This acknowledges the past. The former village of Westfield experienced a fire that raged through it and really they lost. There was no loss of life, but there was a lot of damage to property. That happened August 6, 1921. And so when we built the park, we acknowledged its history with this plan. So welcome to the new gazebo at Unity Park. Uh, this is where we perform Summer Stage. Summer Stage happens here in our community on Wednesday evenings for 10 Wednesdays beginning the last Wednesday in June. We celebrate local artists and the community gets to come out, bring their lawn chairs, get to commune with their neighbor and enjoy local entertainment. So this is one of four granite sculptures. Uh, five will be next year, but this is one of four from the International Sculpture Symposium. That symposium is held in the city of St. John every two years. Uh, this artist was from France. She came and spent six weeks with us in order to develop this. It's called Love. It's a representation of a family tree, of uh, her time here, of her family intimately, her parents on one side, she and her two sisters on the other, and of her time here spent with us and how the moon shines through the trees. It's uh, Fetia Bodova is the artist. I'm sorry, just a second. And comes into Canada and is in many states to a 